So the first campaign we're going to look at is regular. It's probably the most common type of campaign you end up sending. So pick whatever list you're going to send to. You could choose to send it to your entire list, to a segment, to a group, or even start a new group or segment. I'm going to send it to my entire list. Go down and click next in the bottom right hand corner. You'll want to fill out some campaign info here and it'll really help you stay organized. For the first thing, campaign name, I'm just going to put test subject. Make sure the subject is something that is going to be enticing for the user to open. This is going to be your first email that they see from your company or from your brand. So if it's too boring, they'll never open it. They'll never get to know you. They'll never get the sale. And that really just highlights the importance of this section. A common thing to do is give away a free report, a free guide, coupons. Uh, we call them lead magnets. What they do is entice somebody to give you their email address, which is becoming an increasingly valuable commodity in today's internet marketing industry. You just make sure these other sections are correct here, the subject, the from name, and the email address. For the from name, if, you, if you're a personal brand, use your own name. Otherwise, just use your domain name uh, so people recognize who it's from and don't think it's spam. If you want to use conversations to manage replies, you'd have to upgrade your account. So since we're doing the free version of the account here, I'm not going to get into that section. Personalize the to field. This is something where you could highlight their attention uh, by putting in their first name. I would uh, suggest you click this and just leave it the way it is on its default setting. Moving down to the tracking section, uh, you want to click as many of these as possible. Uh, Google Analytics is not so important, but you probably should uh, connect it to your Google Analytics account. Only need to click e-commerce link tracking if you are selling some uh, something from an online store. Clicktail. Uh, this requires a Clicktail account, so for now, just leave it unchecked. Uh, this one also goal tracking requires a paid account, so we're going to skip this one. It's not that important, anyways, uh, until you start really ramping up your email marketing techniques and efforts. And track stats in Salesforce or HiRise. Obviously, if you've got Salesforce. Uh, or high rise is your CRM, you're going to want to integrate that right away. But I don't use either one of those uh, anymore, so I'm going to leave that blank. Moving on to the social media section, it gives you an option to auto tweet or auto post to Facebook. I would recommend clicking both of them as long as your email frequency is not too, too much. Uh, I assume you'll probably only be sending out max three to five emails a week. Five would be a little bit heavy. So, to actually enable these, you're going to have to connect your Twitter account and connect your Facebook account. Um, I'm not going to do that right now just to save some time for you guys. I don't want to waste any of it. And uh, I just want, to, want you to know you should click both of those and connect both your Facebook and your Twitter. It just expands your reach and you really need to expand your reach as much as possible. The final thing is auto convert video. Uh, if you want to turn it on, it'll actually scan your content for videos and play it properly within their uh, coding. So. You can put a YouTube video in, Vimeo, or even a native Facebook video, and it will automatically parse it for the email and make sure it looks good on uh, your, your customer's end. That's it for the basic HTML campaign. It's probably the most common one you are going to use, and in the next lesson, we're going to look at the plain text HTML emails.